I was in Bergen, Norway, and they invited us to this banquet where it was sunny out at midnight, and they had this big platter of whale. And I was like, ah, we don't, we don't do that, you know, in the United States. We don't eat whale. And he was like, no, no, you have to do it. It's, yeah. it's, it's Norwegian, or however yeah. their accent is. And I was like, oh, it's Norwegian, yeah. Wait, is that German? Anyway, he was like, you got to eat the whale. And I was like, do I just like, what do I do? And it's like, you, you put it on bread, and then they were all piling it on their plate, super excited. I cut a little piece off, and I tasted it. It was like, imagine if you took a slice of roast beef, and then put it in a tray with vinegar, and then took a metal press and put it on it and let it sit in the sun for a day. And that's how I would describe the taste of, of the whale they gave me. It was blue and I thought it was disgusting. Not the Titanic, buddy. There you go. Do you know how to release the trap? Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Either. I think it's at Snap Bar, but I just haven't tried this kind yet. So. so where do you want? It's right here. It's right yeah, here. Yeah, right okay. It's good. And you got it backwards. Spin it around the other way. Okay. The trap releases. That bar there. Or is that bar here? Okay. Do you want to cool. hold that? Yeah. And... I'll just kick it over. Oh. Okay. He knew what to do, but... Hold on. All right. Take two, buddy. Here. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep. Oh, there you go. Be free, little one. You hear that? It does our hearts good to save nature. Look at this guy. Let's reset the trap and get out of here before the storm. Yeah, let's catch another one. Oh, that was great. No, I mean, this is tight. That wasn't hail, though. It, it Whatever hit my hand. Yeah, it's like a big thing of slush hit my hand. You know what I was thinking of doing? Putting the rail right here. I could be skating right now. Look at look at look at look at look at They can go in their protected home. I know. Well now now they don't want to run out. Wow, it's hail, huh? Yeah, but it's tiny hail. They say that the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plains. But here in Maryland, the hail some can't rhyme. I don't know where. Oh, really? It's like. <laughs> Alrighty then. My dad's name is Michael Poole. When we moved here, we were getting mail for somebody at this address with the same name, only there's an E at the end, and it's really weird. And we're getting mail for a Michael Poole. There we go, ice cream made. Probably needs a little bit more ice. Oh, that's like a... Ah, it's not getting all the ice, it's a problem. It's like windy soft serve. Yeah, it's like a frosty actually. It's really good. But there's like <laughs> ice not getting blended properly. Yeah. I made a frosty. It's like you know, frosty. Solid air. The storm's coming back. Dude, you hear that? It's like a rave. Pew, pew. 
took lasers. And then this one. I'm thinking we need to buy our own weather machine so we can change the weather. You know, or maybe like a good one from Russia. <laughs> no, this <It> are... <laughs> Refill packs. All right, all right, all right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? What flavors? Three. What is this one? Peach. Ooh, that sounds really good. Peach does sound good. Orange. What did you lemon. like? You wanted watermelon? I would love watermelon. There it is. Peach honey and yuzu. <coughs> Dude, the problem is people have to eat healthy and exercise. <laughs> Stop drinking sodas. Stop buying tons of soda. Stop buying 4,000 honey sticks and just <laughs> drinking honey all day. That's a good point. Can I get a honey Don't stick eat ice cream. Don't just put ice and cream in a blender and then drink it. What are you, nuts? Do you want a honey stick, actually? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Don't throw steak into a blender. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually okay. That was fine. <laughs> Throwing, was, throwing steak into a blender is fine. That's reasonable. Because that was, what was it called? Ch uh, chibabchichi. Chibabchichi. There you go. I don't think I don't think it was actually chibabchichi. No, it well, you could have added more pork to it. There's no pork in it. Yeah, it was kosher. It that's how rich people take their meat. They don't want to have to chew it for themselves. So you got a machine that was basically your slave to chew it for you. Machine. Before you think about where we're at. Have, have a human chew your food and spit it out for you? <laughs> God, I'd rather have a robot. So there you have it. That's uh, that's it. That's that's what we're talking about when we say the meaning of life. We just showed you the meaning of life. Try to get what you can out of every day because eventually you're gonna have less of them until you have none. It's the kind of thing where you can get more money, but you can't get more time. Well, also try to figure out how to open these dang chicken gates. 
You have any idea how to do this? Let me ask you chickens a question. What's your favorite cocktail? You know what I mean? Do you love me? Something that's kind of weird about these chickens is they all have like really similar astrologies. That one though, clearly has a Taurus rising. Look at that. These are basically dragons. 